Uh, first, let's see how to make the animated water. Then we'll make the water shader for Eevee. So let's add a plane. Scale it up. And click here in material preview. I'm going to open a new window here and change it to material editor. Now create the material and we can choose a color. It should be a dark color. Roughness to zero. And I'm going to increase metallic to 0.3 or so. Now shift A and search for noise texture. Also add a bump node. Now connect factor to height and normal to normal into the shader. And now it's just a matter to lower the strength. We can increase the scale. And we can also add a texture coordinate. Also a mapping node. Now connect generated to vector and mapping to the noise texture. We can repeat the texture here in scale. Now for the animation in the noise texture, we can change to 4D and we can move the W value to animate the water. And we can use a driver here. Just type hashtag frame slash uh, 3000. The number will define the speed of the animation. And now just press the space bar to play the animation. And I'm going to open the timeline. Now let's change to 500 to make the animation faster. Of course, it also depends on the number of frames that we use. The animation part works on Eevee and cycles as well. Now let's make the water shader for Eevee. But if you want a water shader for cycles, I have a separate video for that. Check the links in the description. Okay, so let's make the water shader for Eevee. But first I'm gonna add a terrain. Uh, these terrains are free on my Gunroad. Also check the links in the description. Now click on Render Preview and we can add an HDR image in World Properties, select Environment Texture and now choose your HDR image. Now lower the strength and we can add a Sunlight. In light properties, increase the strength. Now in edit mode, select the face and extrude it with E so we can cover all the terrain. Now we can add an add shader, then a volume absorption. and also an emission shader. Now connect volume to the first socket, emission to the second, add shader to volume in output. I'm going to lower 
emission strength, also lower volume absorption, and we can pick a color for both shaders. Now I'm going to change the color in principal shader. Now in material properties, under settings, in blend mode, we can change to alpha hashed and the same for shadow mode. Now in the principal shader, we can lower alpha so we can see through the water. In volume absorption, the higher the value, the less we can see through the water. And we can play with emission strength and give the color you want. And that's it. Hope you find something useful. See you.